What is up, you guys? Dr. William Mesh here, bringing you some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I went ahead and I did the poem part because it's kind of hard to choose which ones are which. And, well, pretty sure you don't want to see me sitting in silence, just focusing on what the heck to pick. So, I just went ahead and did it, and we're just getting straight into it. All right. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, William. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? What? Why is that? All of a sudden. No reason. Really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah. Uh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So, either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. Huh? I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? Wait, huh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell William to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Whoops. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Oh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there is a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Whoops, again. I need to keep my mouth, like, way somewhere else. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but... 
you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Something like that hurt, whatever that was. Kya! <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was... Huh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. I is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just going to give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Again. <laughs> how do I keep, like... How do I keep hovering my mouse over the history button? I don't know how I keep doing that. It doesn't matter if I put my mouse up here, over here, or off the screen completely. Which, if I did that, it would just click out of the game. <laughs> N Natsuki... That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez. Wait, jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours looks... But yours is chocolate. Yeah? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh. Natsuki, wait, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Huh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ah, uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. 
boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing the piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. Wait, that sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, William. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. <clears throat> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. William, William, Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm going to get go get some supplies from the another classroom. I really screwed that one up. <laughs> Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica were going to make some posters and stuff. So, I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with William to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. I like how Sayori is the one that was actually, like, supposed to go get him. But Monica's like, no, I'll go get him, and I'll take him, too. <laughs> Instead of just letting her, me and her go. <laughs> Aw, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper, too, okay? Okay. Ready, William? Yep, let's go. Sayori and I exit the club room. I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey, Sayori, what exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're going to do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, 
That sounds kind of dull. Well, um, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like, you say the lines of the poem like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower be beckons to me. I twisted the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moments between my fingers. But to what end I have summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that, Sayori. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Eh? You meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know? <laughs> I know, I know. I just meant that it's a pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that, it's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, William, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. So, going adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. The two of us enter the classroom. Sayori heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sayori pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They are the best brand too. They're kind of dirty though. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. All right, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Ow! Sari bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls to the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow. You okay? My forehead. Sayori clutches her forehead. Gee, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. <sighs> you have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second, okay? Sayori slowly releases her hand from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Ow. Sorry. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell. I should find you some ice. Well, I am. Um, where would I even find ice around this time? Uh, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even wincing from the pain, Sayori makes a silly joke. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. 
I pat Sari on the shoulder and run out into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. Now, what should I get? Doesn't really matter since it will be used on an as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sari likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. At least after she's done using it, she can drink it. In just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sayori, here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your head, idiot. Ah, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sayori places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, William. This kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Huh? What do you mean? You know, how we used to play outside all the time. I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But... Sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. <laughs> and you would rush over as quickly as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah. You don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time, too. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. William, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people, even after all these years. You're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. I feel like my voice for her has like changed a lot. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting like really nerdy. <laughs> <clears throat> You're always rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really sweethearted. You're a real sweetheart. <laughs> D don't call me that. And I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's... What happens when you've become friends for so long? Really? Maybe you're right. William, I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll always be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll each end up for college or after that. So... It wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises, but, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sayori has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know. 
<laughs> Good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Sayori hops to her feet. Ah! She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Oh. Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Sayori out of the classroom. Sayori, Sayori plays with her bangs to try to hide the bump, but without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. Alright guys, I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. I'm going to try to keep my episodes short. I'm going to try to keep them to about 25 minutes. I'm not sure if this is like at 25. Maybe it's a little over. I wish this uh, recorder had a timer on it. That would be so nice. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Actually... You know, I'm more or less going to be posting Doki Doki on, uh, through the week, and I'm thinking of doing, uh, Crystal Line for, uh, the weekend. I work on the weekend, so I get home, like, late, around, like, six, so those episodes will be at a later time, probably about ten o'clock I'll be posting those. I might try to actually post uh, Doki Doki earlier than I am right now. It's just that I was really busy today preparing for winter. <laughs> but anyway, bye guys.